the uh, center is staffed 24 7. It's just like your local weather forecast office, except we do space. These forecasters monitor energy storms that come from the sun, and they're quite different than the storms created by our weather here on Earth. Nobody is outside ducking from protons. You know, nobody does that. Yeah, hailstones, yes, protons, not so much. Space weather is not something you should be concerned about when on a road trip or as a passenger in a plane, but it is something that airlines and pilots need to think about. You know, it's not always at the forefront of people minds until something happens. These scientists say that solar storms can interfere with the communications between pilots and air traffic control and disrupt GPS navigation systems. In more rare cases, they can even spread radiation into an aircraft. That's why the Space Weather Prediction Center says they will now issue new advisories geared specifically to the aviation industry, using a system already set up to warn planes about volcanic eruptions. With volcanic ash, that's not something that impacts the aviation industry very often, but when it does happen, Happen, you want to have information about where and when these impacts are being felt and how you can plan to move around about them. They have not had to issue any of these new advisories just yet, but these scientists say the sun is expected to start a new cycle of storm activity sometime this year. Uh, we are here to make sure that you don't have to worry about it. In Boulder, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.